The Lord be with you. One time, probably many times, a skeptic said to a preacher, I can't stand this Christianity business. All I ever hear from you Christians is give, give, give. The pastor thought about it a minute and finally said, you know, that's about the best definition of Christianity I have ever heard. In case I haven't said it lately, I am so thankful for a church that gives. A new media system during a pandemic, our support of two soup kitchens, monthly mission projects, so many who give so much to help us experience God in worship, so many who keep our church looking well kept and inviting to those driving by this Lord's house. Epworth, Salkahatchee, CCC, it's all there. Apportionments, those who worked on some cold and wet days to keep the parsonage safe from falling trees and to get hot water back into the sinks and showers. And I'm just scratching the surface here. Teachers teaching Sunday school lessons over our phones, pads, and computers. Those who prepared food for a family attending a service of death and resurrection at our church those being trained to operate equipment the likes of which they have never seen before. Give, give, give. That's just about the best description of Christianity I have ever heard, too. As grateful as I am for a giving church, I will always be more grateful for our giving God. Have you ever considered that God could have created a world filled with nothing but desert landscapes? Instead, we live in a world filled with abundant riches for the eyes to treasure every day. I like to remind people that if the one and only thing God ever did was to offer us salvation through his own son, that would be more than enough for us to give God everything we have, everything we are, every bit of the rest of our eternal lives. And even then, we would still owe God more than we could ever repay. And that is if, if, the one and only thing God ever did was to offer us salvation through God's own Son. But God does infinitely more, and we know it, don't we? Give, give, give. That is about the best description of God I have ever heard. The only one better is love, love, love. Strength in times of weakness. Comfort in times of tears. God's holy word. God's holy spirit. God's holy church. Salvation from sin. Trustworthy companionship. Unconditional love. Blessing after blessing after blessing. Let me ask you something. If I tried to list all all of the everyday blessings of our God. How long do you think this devotional would be? I wonder how many people are living blessed lives and don't even know it. We United Methodists do like to talk about grace. We know what it is to live in God's wonderful grace. Prevenient grace. God knocking on the door to our hearts and saying, open up. Everything God does to reach another soul with love and mercy. How many people are living right in the middle of God's blessings and don't even know it? 
how many people are living right in the middle of God's blessings and just don't show it. Have you ever seen the movie War Horse? It's a Steven Spielberg film about a young English boy and his horse. The family is about to lose their farm because their, da, their dad bought a horse for his son. The father was injured during the war and cannot tend the farm. He spends his last money buying this horse. And it wasn't even a working horse. It was a racing horse. The landowner is about to evict the family. Okay, spoiler alert. If you think you will one day want to watch this movie, then this devotional is over for you because I am about to spill the beans and tell you what happens. You have been properly warned. This family's only hope is this teenager and his horse. If they can plow a rock-filled field he and his new thoroughbred, then the family can plant their crops and all will be saved. The entire town gathers along the field to watch the event. They watch with pity and laughter as the boy attempts the impossible. A team of trained horses couldn't plow that field, they say. But everyone wants the boy and his horse to pull through. Rain falls, and the crowd disappears, sure that this is the end for the horse, the boy, and the family. But as the rain falls, the boy and his horse continue undaunted. With more rain, the ground softens enough for the boy and his horse to finish the job and save the family farm. Coincidence or God? Church, thank you for persevering in your giving. Lord Jesus, thank you for persevering in your giving to us all, whether we know it or not. Amen.